Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix and this is Grand Class Melee 2. It's an early access game that comes out on February 2nd. I need to start this review first impressions get off by saying that I did get a key from the developer. It was a game I was going to take a look at, however, it is noted that I got a key from the developer. They contacted me, so keep that in mind with this first impressions of this game. Now, before I begin, I want to show you this, because this is going to be important. This is a class tree. You have no idea what this means right now. Not at all. But it will start to make sense in a little bit. A lot of classes here to work with. Local battle. Let's go. Yes, it's local battle. This is part of the early access portion. Early battle, or early battle. Uh, local battle only for the starting portion of it. They are planning on adding the network portion of it later on. So... Squire, Apprentice, Boyer, and Savannah. I'm gonna go with Squire. This game reminds me a lot of Towerfall Ascension in some ways. Um, and let's put them on normal. Which is probably gonna be stupid because I haven't actually... No, I haven't played on normal. I keep on forgetting that they don't save, seemingly save the settings of the game, which is a little bit weird. Um, like resolution and things like that. Something they need to look at. So... You get right into things, and you've got a couple of basic attacks here. You got a stab, as well as a sort of a, a poke in terms of a dash. Oh, he's going right after me. Uh, okay, so we got two guys left. There we go, and he's gone. So I took the first round. Now, I do like the fact that the game is customizable in terms of the scoring system, as you see here. So you got points for getting survive kills deaths and doing the top damage so i took seven points because i'm the one who survived one point because i got one kill and th nothing else now green even though they died had one kill and had the top amount of damage so thus they got some points so you can customize that to how you want and that is sort of cool that you can actually change up you know how exactly the game is going to go all right so now Here's the thing. Every time you end a round, and it's eight rounds in question, you get to go up to the next skill set. And so now I can either choose Pikeman, who's immune to stun, slow and knockback, able to drip, deflect projectiles, or Redoubt, immune to melee damage after parrying an attack, last two seconds. I'm going to go with Redoubt here. And then my second ability could be any ability that I have gathered up to this point. So, durable. Now, I will say that... That does add a lot of, you know, customization in terms of the classes in question. As you can see, like, the green guy is a scout. He is really, really fast. Ah, come on. There we go. All right, simple enough, right? Now, I will say that the way the classes work, you can't go back. Once you go down a certain path, like, with the first and fourth classes, the um, one that I started off with, and the I think it's the Boyer, they're pretty set in terms of a, a linear, not linear, but two different classes that selected each level. There's a lot more variety in the middle portion that I see, but, you know, a little bit different, but that's all right. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Finesse here because I like that, and I'm going to do Redoubt. So, it's very quick, quick and party game-like at, uh, atmosphere, and if you do like party games, this seems to be something that may be up your alley. It's nothing special, like, in terms of anything different, and I died, but very good mechanics controls work relatively well, although it seems to be have problems in the diagonal directions, in my opinion. All right, I did do the top damage in that round. That's good, so I'm right now in the lead. All right, I can either healing aura, nearby allies. Well, I don't have any allies. You can set up team battles. And let's see, melee hit for an extra. Okay, cool. And yes, I'm a samurai. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that one of the things that the game needs, in my opinion, are power-ups. While the powers are great and all, um, it just... It really comes down to how the opponents are going to battle. And in particular with some of the opponents, it just seems like um, there's a lot of like downtime if everyone is sort of in that area where they want to stay away from you. But, you know, 
It's hard to say right now, to be honest with you. And you see round five there, blue just came storming back. So there is a good balance of power here. Oh, of course I'm increasing attack speed and finesse. And you gain hearts every level because you're going to get more powerful um, spells and everything like that. Oh man, that, that green guy is fast. So a little bit faster, a little bit stronger at, at enemies at this point. They're not using their special abilities, which is interesting enough. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. The Holy Knight lives with only half a health. So, yeah. Interesting interesting party game, to be honest with you. I do... I do think that there could be a little bit more variety in some of the, like, warrior portions of it. I see here, like, for example, I'm going down the warrior class. I... There are a lot of physical attacks and nothing like, you know, ability-wise, which is a little bit weird. Um, I guess they wanted to focus on just plain um, attack, I mean, uh, just passive skills and just focus on your attack. But it would s seemingly help if it had one skill in question, which I will show you guys a little bit of. All right. Uh, come on. Uh... There could be, you know what would be interesting, it would be actually a little bit interesting is if there was some kind of wager system in terms of the points that you've gotten right now, maybe sacrifice some points for another um, skill in question. And if you do win the round, maybe you get those points back. All right, kills, deaths, okay. Um, blue is way far ahead at this point. I gotta focus on blue. Um, every day now you always have to take one of the new abilities which I do think does change things up but definitely a bit because that keeps things interesting because you can't just focus on uh, oh I'm gonna use this combo of items here now you can always take one power that you especially like but on the other hand that's you know you may not get used to you may get used to a certain combo and then all of a sudden oh wait I gotta actually use something different uh, come on I want that per- Oh, I should be going at the blue guy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Now, I do wonder about some of the, the slowness issues. Sometimes it seems that you need to slow down a little bit. And that round I, I kicked ass, so... Um, I do wonder about maybe there may be a performance issue once in a while here. But honestly, I haven't felt like it's been completely game breaking at this point because especially because it's a local game multiplayer kind of game so all right one more time and then we'll get into it maybe the a different character now there is a look feature which i haven't really used i mean everything seems focused on the battle in question so it just seems a little bit strange with the look feature but you know uh don't really see the benefit of it other than that, I mean, this is basic This is basic battling at this point. I would like to see more variety in the levels, because while you have, like, the tall grass and the water, they all seemingly play the same to me, even though there are differences. Like, you do actually have powers that focus on the grass areas, which, all right, that's cool and all, but um, I do think there could be better use of that. All right, so, won that round. Cool. And we're going to play one more battle for you guys to show you off a little bit more. Confirm that. I'm going to start as the Boyer. And we're going to again change this to medium, black, medium, white, and medium, red. No, not red, not red. That's the color I am. Uh, green. There we go. All right, so I'm the boyer now, and you do have a, a primary and secondary skill if you choose to take them. Mine is the arrows, and man, he already took him out. So that, there's my arrow. It takes about a second to fire, and it takes a little bit of time to um, regenerate. I'm just going to go at him at this point. Cool. Now, again... You could change things how you want. So, like, for example, if you wanted top damage to be more, then, of course, you can um, change that up. 
What I would love to see out of Grand Class Melee 2 is sort of a randomization between each round. That really could be very interesting in terms of like one round deaths mean a lot and so you want to be the one who wants to survive or maybe kills mean a lot so you can be more aggressive at that point that would be cool because that would change gameplay up in terms of like okay i can't just focus on this all right now i can be a scout or i can go for a lunge i'm gonna choose the lunge here and i'm gonna take a quick arrow so i have two skills now uh okay fire I want to stay away from people. Green just is going right after me, but he's going to find that. He's going to have some problems. Oh, well, no, maybe I'm going to have some problems. Oh, come on. Use that lunge. Okay, yeah, he, he fought. And he hit me, hit the guy into me. Okay. Honestly, this is a, a multiplayer game. This is a game that is definitely suited for you know, that local experience. And if you have a bunch of friends to play this with, again, local multiplayer, all you needed to get is one copy. I can see the benefit to this. All right, I'm going to use Wild Agus, and I'm going to lunge. Now, I get portions in tall grass and in water. I don't know if this constitutes as tall grass, though. So I got to be careful. Um, controller support seems all right, although there seems to be... I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's a weird situation with, like, it, it kept on wanting the default to attacking downward for me when I was using the controller. I don't know if that's my controller or not. I wasn't able to replicate that on the second one, but I don't know. Ooh, Lancer, of course. Lancer and lunge. All right, we're going for this guy down here. Oh, he's, oh, he's casting fire. We're not going to allow you to do that. Uh, jump. Okay, come on. Oh, you just got fire all over the place. You're zoning us out. I don't like that. Jump over. Oh, there we go. Take that. Take that. Aha. You're going down. You're going downtown. Oh, okay. That It's not that, like the dragoons jump. There's, there is an ability to have a dragoons jump in this game. As you can see, the the chemist here had just everything all over the field at that point, and so a lot of different strategies for you to play with, which which does work a lot. Now, again, I would like to see it recommend like being able to still choose the first classes, because that I think could add some more choices in the mix because i really it comes down to choices maybe a reset feature where you feel like okay this hasn't been working for me maybe i come back myself to um another choice double move speed when in taller grass and explosive air explosive arrow of course and i'm gonna do wild agus uh yep there we go oh look at that damage look at that damage uh i want to stay away from people on this one Oh, nope. I wish there was a little bit more control over the um, projectile after it fires. It's in the four cardinal directions, which is a little bit strange. So keep that in mind. It would be nice to be able to fire in the eight regular or cardinal directions. No, I don't think that would be a cardinal direction then. I'm just pushing there that guy's corpse around. Uh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, yep, he, he, he beat the crap out of me. Of course the alchemist beat the crap out of me. Edward Alorwick, um, having wonderful times here. Dragoon, my favorite class. Mostly because I, I love Kane from Final Fantasy VI. All right, and we're jumping. <laughs> it's not as useful as maybe Kane's ability, but it's more so I like being a dragoon. Ha! <laughs> because there's a lot of time up in the air which unfortunately does um, change things around a little bit. Uh, jump. There's a lot of time to uh, dodge at that point. Uh, I'm dead. So there is some twisting that needs to be done in twisting, tweaking in terms of some of the skills. I do feel that um, some abilities definitely outweigh others. The dragoons could use a little bit of a change up. Uh, let's see, revenge or... Yeah, let's do Vine Walker, and of course we're gonna jump. Because I like jumping. Whoa, whoa. 
Okay, so yeah, now I've slowed people who are in the vines and everything like that. I can't really go anywhere right now. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you see, that jump is actually really useful in terms of getting out of some dangerous situations. There we go. So, this is an interesting multiplayer game that you should take a look at. Now, whether or not it's worth your time in early access, I, I, I honestly am very hesitant to recommend any early access game. Um, only because... You know, I mean, it's not, so most of the time it's not ready. I do think that there's some interesting mechanics here, and I do think that if you love multi local multiplayer, this is worth a look. And in particular, what I think is that I do think that the developers in question, based on what I'm seeing from them in terms of, um, you know, their communications and things like that, and what I've seen, that they would be very open to um, community feedback. So... I do think that there would be worth some time in terms of um, taking a look and, it, and making a game that you may want to play. Uh, this fire is going to be problematic, yep. He's going to win, but that's all right. So that is Grand Class Melee 2. I hope you understand a little bit about the game and, you know, if it does sort of go up to your set of standards of what you're looking for in a game, this may be a look for you. So take a look and I will see you later. This is Dragonix signing out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback in comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragonix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.